here today at the Monash Century Science Exhibition, which is an initiative that's about bringing the beauty of the science and the beauty of the light microscope to those members of society where that instrumentation is inaccessible to, namely the low vision and blind community. I want to bring the beauty of the light microscope to that community. They're going to explore the most wonderful exhibits that we have toiled for months creating with our scientists. You're going to see the inflammatory bowel disease as a sculpture. You're going to see an interactive chessboard with amazing pancreas queen and brain king. And we've got this chessboard that sort of explores different organs of the body. And then on the other side is all the immune cells and they're interacting in this dance of autoimmunity. So decided to focus on the topic of autoimmunity because it is one of the leading killers of women over the age of 65 in the Western world. Um, it also is a collection of diseases that affect women at greater rates uh, than men. And a lot of us are afflicted by autoimmune conditions. So today was the launch of the Sensory Science Books. These are interactive science books, so when you open the page, the camera above you actually sees which page you're on. You put your headphones on and you listen to the text being read to you, and then you can feel all the beautiful tactile artworks that we've made. I'm actually going into a Bachelor of Science and Law, so for me this is of major interest because I want to actually major in immunology, and I also wanted to see how I guess a different medium of how uh, science and immune cells can be presented to people with vision impairments. Great ideas come from diverse areas, so I want to get those diverse thoughts, um, diverse ideas from different sections of community. The more people understanding science, the greater section of the community understanding science, I think leads to a very healthy society. I want Monash Sensory Science to reach the world. I want a paradigm shift in our understanding of how people with diverse needs and differences can also be part of the conversation about biomedicine. This kind of work can reach the broader disabled community and I've been learning that art can convey science in a new and exciting way.